hi how are you friends thank you for being here if you're new here i am jordan let me know in the comments below if you could recommend one book for summertime what would be your recommendation and that is what i'm doing today in this video is my summer book recommendations these are books that i have actually read and i would recommend i will have a separate video of my summer tbr like the books that i want to read so again please give me your recs below because I just might add them to my own summer TBR. I know that technically summertime isn't till June, but I live in Florida right now. So we are in like full summer mode already and I love summer. Give me all the vitamin D, give me the beach, give me everything revolving around summertime. I'm here for it, so I'm just way too excited. I'm ready to get this video out so that you guys can start to curate your summer TBR. I even already got a new spring and summer phone case. I'm so ready for summer. I think there's like 12 or 13 books that I have on this list, so we're gonna get started. Grab a drink, pull out your Goodreads, your Amazon cart. I will link every book below, so if you just want to watch and then go shopping at the end of the video i have all of these linked below the first book that screams summer to me like even just by the cover is malibu rising by taylor jenkins reed this book was one of my all-time favorites i think that this isn't one for everyone so before you run and jump on it and go get it unless you just want it for the pretty summer cover please check your trigger warnings this is a family drama where there is very toxic father relationship personally i got so much out of this book because of that dynamic i've joked with some friends that this is the book for people with daddy issues <laughs> But apart from that aspect of the book, which is so well written, the ending is so beautiful. There is some R-rated content. They're kind of like into the party scene, but they also like thrive at the beach. They live near the beach. They surf. So you have a major summary vibe to this book. So if you are into family drama, specifically like pretty deep family drama, then this is a great summer read. I would also highly recommend like any Emily Henry book. All of them. I think they are perfect for summer. Beach Read was the first I ever read and that is my absolute favorite personally. It doesn't really take place at the beach but it's still just like a really good summer read. People We Meet on Vacation is like a friends to lovers story. They travel together so summertime is the perfect time to read that because of all the traveling that they're doing. Then you have Book Lovers which is most people's favorite Emily Henry. It's not my personal favorite but it is very good and it's about book lovers and there's a really good sister dynamic in that one. So if you like a good uh, like sisterly family dynamic within your romance that is a great option. And and then Happy Place that just came out is my new favorite Emily Henry book. This one screams summer. Look at that cover. It is so good. I can't recommend it enough. That one is like a second chance romance. But Emily Henry just writes really good love stories with great banter and they're pretty unique. Emily keeps things pretty creative so I appreciate that. I have enjoyed all four of these books and I feel like they're really great for like those summer reads. Of course I have to recommend my favorite ever, <laughs> Every Summer After. This one is the epitome of summer. So it's a dual timeline so it goes from past to present and most of it takes place at this lake house that she lived at as a young teen and now she's visiting again as an adult and the most adorable friends to lovers and second chance romance story ever. There is one thing at the end that kind of made this book a hit or miss for people because depending how you took it there was something pivotal that happened that I know bothered a lot of people. It didn't personally bother me because I didn't view it what some people viewed it as. This is so funny like trying to explain this without giving any spoilers. I'm sure most people have already read this one anyways and you know what I'm talking about <laughs> but if you haven't I definitely recommend trying it. It is so so good. I read it basically in one sitting. I stayed up like all night. I couldn't put it down and there's very few books that give me that feeling. Definitely, if you didn't get to this one last summer, please do yourself a favor and add this to your summer TBR for 2023. Okay, so there is one that's not a romance that I'm going to add to this, and that is Remarkably Bright Creatures. I read this one last summer. The audiobook for this one is 
so good. This is a really unique fun story. One of the characters is an actual octopus. After reading this book, I'm now a huge fan of octopus. We went to the aquarium and I think I stood in front of the octopus tank for like 30 minutes just watching him because I felt like he could speak to me. I didn't realize how smart these creatures are and they actually are. So this book is just like a stroke of creative genius. Like that one of the characters is a real octopus and then it's got like this family dynamic that was just so sweet and this older woman and I don't want to spoil things but if you're not looking for like just a ton of romance for the summer then I'd recommend you try this one I know it sounds bizarre but I promise you it's very well done the ending made me sob it was just a really heartwarming story so I definitely recommend that you just give it a try if you've been here on my channel or like following me at all I have recommended Ended, Things You Save in a Fire by Catherine Center at least a million times. <laughs> this cover gives me all of the summery vibes. It's not necessarily that the story is summery, but any time is just a good time to read this book. I'm kind of putting this one here primarily because of the cover and because it's just a book that I absolutely love. This one does deal with some loss and some harder topics, but it's done very well. It's not in like a brutally painful way. And she's a female firefighter, which I just loved that aspect of the story. So this is one that I will always and forever recommend like over and over again. So add it to your summer TBR. Let me know when you read it because I want to hear all of your thoughts. <laughs> For my friends that are fans of Little Women, there's this book called Joe and Lori that came out several years ago. Again, I'm primarily putting this one on here because of the cover. I just tried to like find books that I really enjoyed that had like the pastels and blues and pinks and this cover just fits the summer vibe and this book was really cute. I personally am a very big fan of Little Women. It's one of my all-time favorites and this one, how do I explain this without giving spoilers? If you've never read Little Women, this is gonna be spoilery so maybe just like skip the next 10 seconds. But this book is about what if Joe and Lori ended up together. I appreciate how like the true Little Women story ended but this was a really fun retelling and even the way it was retold was like wait a second like is this the real ending? And she just wrote a different story for Little Women. It made me think a lot but it was also like a very enjoyable one but it's not gonna compare to Little Women. Let me just like preface it with that so you don't go into it expecting like such a moving and wonderful classic story but it was very good very worth reading obviously if you're a fan of little women and you need to read little women first oh i do have another book on here that's not romance salt to the sea by ruta sepetis I read this one years ago to this day one of the best and most creative historical fiction stories that I've ever read. It takes place on a ship, so like think Titanic, and it's a true event that happened in history, yet I had never even heard of it, and more people died than even died on the Titanic, so I'm not really even sure why like this specific story isn't told more. How had I never heard of it? Even the overall like storyline and the different characters point of views, this book was just very well executed, very well written. I enjoyed it from cover to cover and loved learning about a different time in history and this major story that happened. And obviously it's a good one if you want a historical fiction for summertime because it takes place at sea. So it is a great season to pick that one up if you want a historical fiction that is gonna be like really fitting for summertime. Okay, so I have read a lot of Colleen Hoover books and I feel like most of them are talked about so much that I don't talk about them a lot because they're already talked about so much. <laughs> and I feel like there's nothing like I can say or add to them that haven't been said a million times. I think she has quite a few books that would be great for summertime, but the one I want to talk about is Maybe Someday. I don't see this one talked about quite as as much. It is definitely like way on her backlist and this one was really unique because it was a musician who has hearing issues and so it was like this very unique story with this representation of someone with hearing loss but also had this really great musical vibe to it. I guess because there were so many scenes of just like this love and these chill moments writing music that it gives me that chill summertime feels and so if I could pick like one 
on Colleen Hoover to read in the summer, it would be this one. I also vaguely remember loving some of the side characters in this one. The guy had a roommate that was just hilarious. Again, I read this so many years ago, so like I don't remember fine details. If there is like any major triggers, I don't think there was. It is going to be dramatic. It is going to have probably a couple open door scenes because it's Colleen Hoover, but if you haven't tried this one yet, especially if you've liked Colleen Hoover's other books, I definitely suggest you try it out. A sports romance that I feel like is a great one for summer is Say You Swear. I just read this one at the beginning of 2023. I loved it so much. I need this book to get some more hype. It is a big one. I think that that deters some people. And the first hundred pages of this one are hard to get through. Like for me personally, I didn't connect with the characters. They really annoyed me and it was hard to get through. And had I not known going into it to expect that, I think people are maybe like discontinuing or too soon. For a sports romance, I think that this is a good one for summertime because again, the cover, but also there is a lot of stuff that's happening between the college semesters and in that summertime and this one is like really unique because it's about a second love some stuff goes down with the first love and she's like not really open to a second love the male in this one noah so good so good one of the best fictional men I've ever read. So add this one to your summer TBR. I also could not possibly have a Summer Rex video without recommending The Summer I Turned Pretty because like obviously it takes place primarily in the summertime. It's going to give you all of the young love and romance and summer vibes like it's gonna be everything you need to feel like you've been put smack dab into the most nostalgic summer it's got a love triangle between brothers it's childhood friends to lovers and it has the tv show now so you can watch that i just love these books they're ya they're so fun and flirty and cute and are just perfect for summertime. And the last books for my summer recs are the Magnolia Parks books. These covers, I mean, they're so summery. I would read these any time of year because I'm so in love with this series. It is toxic, not for everyone. I've discussed this at length with quite a few friends and I feel like they're either five stars for you or you DNF. So maybe try it on like Kindle Unlimited or from your library before you jump into getting the books because again, it, I don't feel like there's anyone like in between that's like, yeah, I just kind of liked it. You're either obsessed <laughs> or you're like hard pass, I hated it. It's not that these like, again, take place necessarily in the summertime. They're just so full of like love and drama. And one thing in particular that is why I'm putting it in this video is because they travel a lot. They're like rich kids. So they're like always going somewhere new and anything with like a lot of travel in it kind of screams summer to me because obviously like that's when we're doing the most of our travels. So tread lightly, but I definitely recommend these to some people. That is going to conclude my summer recs. Again, I will have a summer TBR video for all of the books that I personally want to read this summer, and you could probably get some really good ideas even off of that video that will be coming out. If you liked this video and you haven't subscribed already, please hit that subscribe button and stick around. It truly means so much. Every single one of you that is here that watches my videos, especially those of you who comment and talk to me <laughs> and like let me know that you're here. I just really really appreciate you. Also if you want more please consider watching another video that really helps my channel out and I look forward to seeing you guys in my next video.